All right, what is going on, Fishaholic fam? Welcome back to another episode. It's uh, about an hour before sunrise now, and we're hopping in the Forerunner. And today we're heading up to Vero Beach, and uh, I'm going to get out and fish uh, in the kayaks with my buddy Aiden. And Aiden has never caught a trout, and uh, there's a spot that uh, generally has quite a few trout there. There also could be some redfish and some snook, uh, Jack Creval. And we're gonna put the time in and uh, fish around and see uh, if we can get on a decent bite today. Uh, probably mostly throw in just artificials, but uh, if there is some bait around, I have the cast net, so I'll try and catch some and we'll use it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a day. So stay tuned, I will see you guys uh, in a little bit when we're uh, fully loaded with the kayaks and up there uh, on the water. So stay tuned, I'll see you there. made it to the spot and uh, you know what's pretty cool is uh, I took one toss as soon as we got to the launch and uh, caught like I don't know 15 or two dozen uh, little finger mullets and also what was cool is uh, accidentally also got like uh, some really uh, small little juvenile uh, snook in the net which we released but it was cool to see that uh, they were in the, in the same area in such high numbers uh, those little uh, juveniles but uh, now Ian and I are uh, Heading out to a chain of islands uh, where I've had some success. And uh, how you doing back there? I'm great. I'm ready. <laughs> Getting a, you're gonna get a workout in, huh? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, Aiden's ready. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, like glass calm. Gorgeous. There's a ton of bait around, which is always a good sign. So hopefully we can just, uh, you know, throw some lures, throw some baits, and uh, put it in front of some hungry fish. So. All right, so. Since it's still early, we have to start out with uh, this uh, like Strike King saltwater spook. I believe it's uh, a newer topwater lure that they started selling. Um, or maybe they just didn't have it at Bass Pro because uh, I was walking around the aisles and saw it and uh, thought it looked really good. So I had to buy a couple. And I've caught a few snook on it so far. Haven't caught any trout on it, so we're gonna try it. And uh, I'm sure redfish will hit this as well if they're here. And uh, the water's pretty clear. I can see the bottom clear as day, and it's uh, two feet right here. And uh, we've still got some incoming tide, which should be good. So maybe there'll be a lot of fish pushing up with it or already pushed up and then uh, as the tide switches and starts to go out later, it'll you know pull a lot of fish out, and uh, you know they'll have to pass by us at one point or another. So I think uh, we'll have a good shot at finding something. All right, not a single bite on uh, this Strike King spook. So I'm gonna try switching this Rapala skitter walk which I actually found a couple months ago on a piling and uh, the hooks were all rusty but I just switched them out last night so now it's ready to go and uh, this might match the profile size a little better and it also has a little more flash to it let's see what happens This water is so clear today. The last time I was here it was uh, probably like less than five, six inch visibility. So uh, once the sun gets a little higher, it'll be cool. We might be able to do some sight fishing. All right, I'm gonna try putting on a little finger mullet now. And I'll probably just set it out on a flat line as we're going across this flat and then I'll keep casting the top water. The last time I was on this flat, I got like a 20 to 21 inch uh, trout. So I'm thinking this might get another fish just like that if we can't get them on the top water or on any other artificial. I think I got that fish on uh, a little Savage Gear shrimp. So we'll probably just throw the spook for 
maybe like another uh, 20, 30 minutes and then maybe I'll try a, a shrimp or a little swim bait. Now what's cool about this uh, little Daiwa MCAST 5000 is uh, once I get my bait out there, I can just flip this switch and if something hits, it'll just uh, be in free spool. So that, could, that fish could swim freely and they don't know that I'm there. And then I'll come, just give it a turn and come tight on them. All right, we're taking off the skitter walk. I took like 30, 40 more casts and no bites. So I think we have to try just a little swim bait. This will do right here. Let's load it up with some mullet pro cure so it has a little flavor. Perfect. So uh, what's kind of cool, another kayaker just went by and he was going closer to the mangroves and he saw four redfish cruise right by him. So uh, we've got some hope here. Oh, there was a bite. Definite bite right there. There's a fish. Nice. What do we got here? Oh, got a trout. Nice. That's not a bad one. Sweet. And the swim bait like just came out when I got him in the net. Let's get a quick measure on him. It's just a little over 17 inches. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Sweet. We're not getting skunked today, boys and girls, if you're watching. Oh, something out there is trying to pop on my mullet. Come on, come on. Eat them. Eat them. Oh, come on, eat them. This mullet's being crafty, they can't get them. Look at him, he's all beat up. Let's get a fresh bait on. Now maybe I can get another fish on the swim bait. Nice. All right, good. Oh. Oh no, Aiden just uh, hooked up on a trout but lost them right at the kayak. What happened to the net? He was right in the net. He almost jumped in the net. <laughs> you'll, you'll get another one. There's another fish. What do we got here? Is it another trout? Oh yeah, another trout. Good size one too. All good quality fish. This one might be a little bigger. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. Sweet, two on the board. I looked away for a second. My swim bait was just like laying on the bottom and he slurped it up. Just got another. All right, let's keep it going. That one we got uh, way out there, away from the island. Oh, there was another bite. 
Come on back, come on back. There's another. Oh no, lost them. That fish uh, fought a little different right after the initial take. I wonder if that was a redfish. Oh, something just ate our mullet. There he is. Oh, he came off. Oh, no, we're still chasing it. Still chasing it. Come on back. Come on back. Look at him right there. Right there, right there. Come on, eat him. Eat him. Eat him. I guess I got to let him eat a little bit longer. Dang. Yeah, live bait. All right, well, I can't believe it. Another missed opportunity with uh, the live mullet. My hook is razor sharp. If we get another bite on the bait, I'm gonna count to like 10 before trying to come tight on them. Hmm, I'm gonna try switching to a little two inch voodoo shrimp. I'm also gonna cut this 25 pound floral leader off. And I kinda wanna drop down to 15. see if we can finesse up a couple more bites with this little voodoo shrimp there's one fish on what do we got here he crushed the voodoo. Oh, it's another nice trout. Oh, he's, oh, that's a small gator right there. Yeah, baby, woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that might go 20 inches. Look at that. Absolutely hammered the little two inch voodoo shrimp. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh yeah, a little over 20 inches. Whew. Oh, <laughs> not a graceful release, but sweet. Yeah. Oh, something else just whacked my mullet. I don't know if you guys saw that. But I think he missed him. Dang it. All right, so it's so crazy that we cannot catch a fish on the live bait. And uh, since that is the case, I put on a 15 pound fluoro leader now, just like what we were using with uh, the Voodoo. So maybe this will increase our chances. a fish I'm gonna let him eat it I'm gonna let him eat it there we go finally hooked one on the live mullet and all it took was to drop down to 15 pound fluoro and oh we actually got a little snook here I thought it was gonna be a trout 
We're very lucky uh, he didn't cut us off with his uh, gill plates or his abrasive mouth, but if you look here, we got a perfect hook set in them. So there was no harm to our leader. We'll send him back. All right, guys, a little update for you. So uh, as you can see, we're out of the kayak now because uh, my butt uh, was hurting. So uh, we've been walking back and forth along this island on the flat. And uh, I was hoping this would be a little more stealthy and we'd be able to get like one or two more fish. But uh, it uh, seems to be that most of the fish have vacated this area. There's still a ton of bait here. I, I threw the net like twice and got like another like 30 or 40 mullet. Uh, so we're loaded up with plenty of bait. But um, I think uh, we're just gonna start working our way back to the launch now. And um, I, you know, I've had better luck just around this uh, chain of islands here, but it seems like it's more of like a er morning thing and then you have to wait all day and then maybe like the last two hours before dark is when uh, it turns on again. So uh, we don't wanna wait all day. So we're gonna start working our way back, like I said, and uh, see if we can dial in on any more fish that are maybe um, in the channel on the way back or uh, also like in this area, there's not a whole lot of seagrass, but on the way back, there's a ton of seagrass and uh, I've always heard like seagrass is like critical for having uh, like a good trout uh, fishery in an area. And um, in this spot in Vero, it seems like um, because of all the seagrass that's still here, whereas a lot of the seagrass further south has died, uh, the seagrass attracts um, a lot more of the trout. But uh, for this spot, it's funny, I haven't caught a single trout off of uh, the seagrass that's here, or a single fish really. I've, I've caught them all right here where it's just basically sandy and uh, muddy. And um, I, I've been walking along here and, and I know why these trout uh, and, and even the snook were in this one little spot where we we're catching them. And that's because uh, the temperature is definitely significantly warmer. I'm feeling it with my feet as I'm walking through here. It's like sand. And then you get to a spot where your feet start to sink in a little more and it's definitely like more mud. And then that's also where uh, it feels a lot warmer. So uh, that's why the fish have been hanging out here. But anyway, let's hop back in the kayak and uh, see if we can get a couple more fish on the way back. Well, it looks like we got some stormy weather above us. Hopefully it does not come down on us before we get back. And uh, we're getting on the edge of the channel right now. Hopefully, we can find something in this deeper water. Oh, oh just marked a, a decent trout. fish. I just had a trout following right back up. Oh, oh, you just had a trout fall, uh, follow, follow your swim bait? Nice. Well, I'm marking, I just marked one right off the edge of the drop here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just marked a good fish. Um, Wow. Yeah, we had a pretty big one on. We didn't weigh it. It got off, but um, it ate a like a 20 pound striper in one bite. And we hooked we hooked it on a trolling tube. Really? Yeah, we were reeling the striper in, or the customer was, and then yeah, and then the, the mako grabbed. Yeah, it was right behind the boat. Oh, fish on. I think I got a flounder here. Feels like a flounder. Oh no, it's a little trout. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. I got a little weak fish. This ain't a, this isn't a trout. Yeah, a little swick teague. Pretty cool. I didn't know they were here. Look at that. I'm in I'm in five feet. Oh, I just got hit hard. Oh there he is! Oh it's a blue fish. No! <laughs> oh man. Get in the net. <laughs> Woo! No, it's, it's a cocktail. It's a small one. All right. He just cut the leader as I got him in the net. All right. Got my swim bait back. There we go. All right, Shaholics. Well, uh, we're gonna wrap things up after that last fish, and uh, we basically fished our way all the way back to the launch. And uh, it was a okay day out here. Uh, not really hot and heavy action, but uh, good enough to uh, keep things interesting. 
and uh, I was happy to get the three nice trout, uh, got that little snook, and then uh, it was a cool surprise to get that little weak fish, and uh, uh, we got that blue fish, which was also a surprise, and I'm happy that we caught that fish and he didn't uh, take our jig head and uh, swim bait. But uh, yeah, we'll have to come back here another day and uh, see if we can do something similar. Maybe next time uh, get some redfish because uh, they were here, but uh, we just couldn't get them. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Aiden only had the one shot at uh, one trout that he hooked up on, but uh, lost it right next to the kayak. So uh, Aiden, next time we'll, we'll come back and you'll get them. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button to uh, stay tuned for more uploads. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode. And like always, live and fish fish to live.